Okay, so I'm going to try to do a quick little rundown of the mask that I've been working on. Um, I talked to a nursing friend of mine. She works at Hershey Medical, and we've been kind of trying to come up with a way for her to put the N95 respirator mask inside of this mask. So this is just the regular um, rectangular pattern that I've been using. I just kind of modified it a little bit. So you can see that when you open it up, it will stretch to fit your face. And then on the back side, um, I've added a little pocket or lining area for another respirator or a filter to kind of be put inside. So I also added up at the top here is a little um, pipe cleaner so that if you were just wearing it by itself, you could fit it to your nose. Um, and then obviously if you have another respirator mask inside of that, that would probably also have a nose um, bendy part so you could fit that as well. But basically what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to cut a single piece of fabric that is nine inches by 14 inches. And so what I did to get that is I just kept the fabric folded in half and I cut it nine by seven. So once you have that piece cut, um, you're first going to sew up the raw edges on the nine inch sides, which I've already done here. And that'll just keep those um, raw edges from showing. So in order to get the little pocket type piece, um, portion of this what you're gonna do is you're going to fold this top part down about one inch and Ideally you want to iron it, but I'm just kind of skipping that for the purposes of this video What you're gonna do next is you're gonna bring the bottom part up to meet that part and kind of overlap them just a little bit Maybe about a quarter to a half an inch of overlap there and again you want to iron it nice and flat and then you're ready to sew the two edges this side and this side so all you would need to do when you sew those is remember to put the elastic inside of them now this is the elastic that i have and i just knotted the edges so that it will stay when you sew it now you're going to put the elastic on the inside and you're going to try to sew it as close to the corners as possible sometimes if you're using, this is about seven inches, seven and a half inches of elastic. Sometimes it'll get a little bit bunchy then, but that's okay. You just want to try to get it as close to the corners as possible. And the same thing on this side. Now, remember, this elastic is actually going to go inside in between the fabric when you're, when you're stitching. It's going to go this way. So once you have it sewn here and sewn here, you can turn the whole thing right side out and kind of iron it nice and flat. Uh, now this is an optional part, but you can add the pipe cleaner at the top, like I said, to kind of make it bendable to your nose. You don't have to do that. A lot of people are skipping that part because then it means you can't microwave the mask to sterilize it, but you can still machine wash it, so it's up to you. Um, so I cut a piece of um, pipe cleaner. I just cut the long piece in half so it comes out to about six inches and you would just kind of slide it all the way up to the top in there. I added this extra stitch here, this straight stitch, to kind of keep it in place first. Then I went over the pipe cleaner with a zigzag stitch to hold it and secure it in place. That way you can be sure that when you machine wash it, the pipe cleaner won't get all curled up or gnarled and it'll stay straight. So once you have um, the two sides assembled, you have the pipe cleaner in the top, um, you're also going to want to go around the edges of the mask. And that will kind of keep those raw edges on the inside uh, more secured so that they won't fray as easily when these things are getting washed. So remember, you're gonna go all around the borders here. After you've done that, the last step is really to just add these pleats or these tucks in here. And these are pretty easy to do. Um, I used an iron, again, to kind of help me get it nice and flat. Sorry, I'm just doing this with one hand here. But I used the iron to get this nice and flat and I kind of pinned three pins on each side to pin these pleats in place. And then all you have to do is kind of sew from the top 
down to the bottom. And I found it easiest to kind of pull the pins out before you got up to them. Some people like to sew right over the pins, but that really kind of just made it bulky and wavy. It's easier to just pull the pins out right as your sewing machine is about to get to them. So after all of that, your mask is done. Um, it's pretty much ready to go after that. It's got the pocket on the inside so that you can fit your own respirator in there or you can fit a filter in there if you so choose, which can be removed when you machine wash it. And it's got an optional pipe cleaner to shape it to your nose. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me a private message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to be working on more of these throughout the day, but let me know what you guys have been doing and what has been working for you. Good luck and uh, keep up the good work, everyone.